Uh, Richard, thank you for your very gracious introduction and for uh, hosting us here at Virtua, which is uh, a really, I, I view, a, a world-class health institution here in southern New Jersey, for which we are very proud, uh, not only at home, but uh, across the country. Uh, let me thank uh, Stephanie for uh, hosting us today and being our MC, and uh, Dr. Donlin and uh, uh, Dr. Kay for their remarks. I was looking at Dr. Donlin. She has uh, RN, uh, ED something, JD. I said, <laughs> I got the sense you don't mess with Dr. Donlin. So, uh, uh, Dr. K, based upon his presentation, uh, I know people listen. So uh, uh, to Betsy Ryan, who does a great job for all of New Jersey's hospitals and her advocacy, as a matter of fact, a whole host of hospitals were visiting me as we move towards other issues and implementation of the uh, federal health law. I appreciate her uh, advocacy on behalf of all of our hospitals. Um, and uh, to uh, Assemblywoman uh, Lampett, who I always uh, am pleased to be with. She is just a fantastic legislator and advocate for the people of her district uh, in the New Jersey legislature. You know, uh, when we first set out to finally bring some badly needed reforms to our health insurance uh, uh, system, an effort that resulted, I view, in a strong new law signed by President Obama in March. One of our main goals was to address uh, this simple concept. Our health insurance system needed a dose of common sense. And having spoken with thousands upon thousands of New Jerseyans who had expressed concerns about the health insurance system since I first entered public service, I became increasingly aware that one area of our system in which there hasn't been a whole lot of common sense is how it supports the million of new mothers who suffer from postpartum depression. At one time, uh, as it's been said, it was just simply brushed off as the baby blues, a label that conjures images of a type of music, not debilitating and potentially destructive medical conditions. Thankfully, since those days, our understanding of the condition has improved and people generally of taking it more seriously. But when it comes to families looking for a support structure that helps educate them during pregnancy, that helps guide them after childbirth, and that helps provide them with access to professionals trained to properly treat the condition, families too often search far and wide, but are ultimately left to fend for themselves. And it shouldn't be that way. If a new mother suffers a physical setback after childbirth, she will get constant care from her OBGYN. If a baby catches a cold, his or her pediatrician will be on call to walk the parents through it. But if a new mother is depressed, she often doesn't know what's going on or where to turn. And that's exactly why I authored the Mother's Act. And it was a priority of mine to include it in the health insurance reform, in addition to so much more. There's a whole host of provisions in the law that I authored that I'm proud of that will help New Jerseyans and our state. But this was one that I'm thrilled is now the law of the land. And I could not think of a better place to uh, announce that we finally have this uh, as the law of the land than here at Virtua. With this new program, we're helping to ensure that new mothers will feel supported and safe rather than scared and alone. This bill, uh, advocates for the Department of Health and Human Service to expand research so that we can understand the potential causes and potential treatments for postpartum depression. It also includes a provision to create a national public awareness campaign. I know that there are women all over this country who are suffering in silence, unaware of what postpartum depression is, so unaware what the resources are to help them. We need to help these mothers. We need to educate their families. We need to tell families what the red flags are so women uh, can get the support they need. The bill also requires the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services to conduct a study on the benefits of screening for postpartum depression and postpartum psychosis. I know you and I see the benefits of what's happening here in New Jersey, and this study will help uh, show my colleagues in Washington and across the country. The bill also creates a grant program to provide services to women with postpartum depression. These grants could go to a number of different entities, from hospitals like Virtua to community organizations. 
could be used to educate new mothers about methods of coping with the illness and treatment resources. They could also be used for delivering home-based health and support services, including case management and comprehensive treatment services. It's a comprehensive grant program to ensure that our communities are able to really find and help mothers all over this country who may be facing this challenge. This is a law that mothers uh, ultimately are going to benefit from, but it's also families because the entire family uh, is affected. But nowhere she would be more proud than right here in New Jersey because this is a New Jersey grown law championed by many but particularly a New Jersey woman. The inspiration to offer this law, law came from Mary Jo Cody, our former first lady, who used her personal struggle with postpartum depression to help New Jersey enact one of the nation's most progressive postpartum support laws. Working with Mrs. Cody, a strong core of New Jersey women, and the good folks here at Virtua, we made this New Jersey success into a quest to help mothers across the country. It took four years, and Virtua supported this effort every step of the way. It took an effort to educate my colleagues. It took a grassroots movement spearheaded by New Jersey women. But as a result, the support structure new mothers have been looking for will start to be built. So a week from Sunday, people around the country will give a gift to their mother for Mother's Day. I'd like to think that the Mother's Act is a special Mother's Day gift from the incredible women and advocates who helped pass this law. We are, help, we are hoping it will amount to the gift of comfort and wellness when a mother is forced to face postpartum depression. You know, we want our children to be totally uh, taken care of and, uh, and nourished, but we need our mothers uh, to be also taken care of and nourished as they nourish their children moving forward. 